Jack Spierkel sent me this great video of powering his house from his mobile battery bank and his also in-house battery bank during a thunderstorm. And since this is about as bright as it gets, and this is a freeze frame from a lightning flash, I'm going to show you what the battery bank looks like, and then I'm going to show you his video. But before I do that, this is a picture of Jack's big screen TV photographed during the thunderstorm with his power out, and he's watching the local news and the local weather radar. A while ago, we had a workshop at Jack's house, and we built battery banks in three diesel pickup trucks. And Jack's pickup truck is the one all the way on the right. And yes, we even showed how to power the battery bank in the pickup truck with a solar panel. Even though the truck has more than enough power and recharges the battery bank all the time, we even showed you how to do solar at the same time. And this is a close-up of the battery bank in the back of Jack's pickup truck. It's in a box in the bed. It is powered off of the truck. When the truck idles it, or drives down the road, it is powering the battery bank. If you let the truck sit there and idle, it's going to power the battery bank and the inverter. And if you turn the truck off, the big battery will power the inverter as well. And this is what it looks like inside of the battery bank. Pretty neat, huh? Just a couple of batteries, the inverter, the chargers, and everything else. you got plenty of room for other stuff. And now, Jack's video. Oh, and during this weekend, you can get the video of how to make your own battery bank for home or for mobile for 25% off. So come and get it. All right, guys, so the power's out, severe weather in play, uh, nothing really a big deal, uh, high winds, uh, hail threats, etc. You can see we've got the TV on, got that light on over there. You come over here, you can see I've got weather underground up with the threat map on. What's interesting is the rest of the house is really, really dark. You saw the wife's flashlight there. Why? Power's out. Yep, power's out. A um, couple things here. What was this light? Put a little emergency backup light. These things are really cool going on in there. That gives us some light down the hallway. Battery backups running. In here, internet's on, router's up. I thought we were going to be down a really long time. Um, I'd shut down all this stuff. And I probably will after we get off the, uh, I get off doing this video anyway. But this is all running on backup out of the closet over there right now. Big thing is the modem's on. So I've still got internet to the rest of the house. Phones are all charged up. So battery backup's running here. The little emergency power failure light's running there. What's running the TV though? What's doing all that power well hard to see but there is a extension cord Let's see if I can get to where I can see it for you come in here extension cord right there on the floor see that I was already set up I knew this was probably gonna happen tonight and uh, doubt you can see anything out here there's a Lightning will hit it for you. My big old diesel truck sitting there on idle. Stephen Harris battery bank in the uh, toolbox there. Making things happen, giving us power. And I really don't think we'll be out long without power because check that out over there. Neighbors have power. I know for a fact they do not have a backup generator. So we got power across the street but not in the house. But uh, you can hear it coming down out there. This was supposed to be a high probability of tornadoes tonight and stuff. and. We're just not getting that, uh, and I'm grateful for it, but the power still went out, and uh, we'll keep in touch there with the weatherman to make sure that there is no threat, and that's the big thing about this. This is why I immediately turned it on, one, to test my preps, and two, because if anything changes here and we have severe uh, weather that we need to be worried about, I need to know about it. We're about right here on the map, so we're about to be out from underneath this. Hopefully we get the power back on. Just for that check in with you and show you it does pay to be prepared. We'll catch up with you later.
So guys, what a neat video, huh? Live video inside of a thunderstorm. It's thundering like crazy outside. Jack's truck is idling outside of his door. It's powering everything he needs inside of his house. He could have actually run it off of the batteries on its own, but he had the truck at idle just to maintain everything at perfect power, and his truck would idle forever on a tank of fuel. But this is what he did. This is what I teach. This is in the videos, step by step, detail by detail. You will have no doubt in your mind how to build one. Come and get the video and build your own battery bank, either in your house or in the back of a pickup truck. And you, too, will have the same safety and security during a thunderstorm or a power failure as I, Steve Harris, have and as Jack just demonstrated to you. Oh, and you're looking for the four and a half hour how to make a home and mobile emergency power battery bank. It's at the very bottom of the energy1234.com screen. Thank you.